welcome to fifth grade chapter eight lesson five we're going to go ahead and get started with number two and it says that the, uh, well before we do um i wrote here that a fraction divided by a whole number you're going to get a fraction when you divide a whole number by a fraction you're going to get a whole number okay um so number two says that you have a piece of ribbon that is five meters long she cuts the ribbon into one third meters long how many pieces does she cut so she has five meters and she's dividing that up into pieces that are a third meter long, okay? So we are dividing a whole number by a fraction. Whole number divided by a fraction, we're gonna get a whole number, okay? So if you want to, you can absolutely, well, first we need to put that over a one so that we have a fraction. You can absolutely do the keep, change, split, okay? Or you could, just multiply. So 15 pieces. Okay. All right. So next one, it says to draw a diagram. So you absolutely can draw three muffins and cut them all up into four pieces. Okay. Please ignore that. It's obviously not to scale. Okay. But you can cut them up into four pieces. Okay. So you can do that right there. Okay, now you can count how many pieces that is, each little triangle there, or you could just multiply because we have a whole number divided by a fraction, we're gonna get a whole number. So when you multiply, 12. So 12 pieces. Okay, all right, two friends share one half or one quarter gallon of lemonade equally. Okay, so let us, okay, so two friends, they have a quarter gallon and they're splitting it among two people, okay? Now two is not a fraction, so I'm going to put it over a one, okay? So we're multiplying a fraction by a whole number, we're going to get a fraction, okay? Now, because we have a fraction divided by a whole number and that numerator is a one right there, okay? That means that our numerator is gonna be a one and we can just multiply one eighth of a gallon, okay? Okay, you can Okay, you can you can to draw your to draw your diagram like it says. Draw your one gallon, your quarter gallon, or sorry. Those would be half. These would be quarters. Sorry, y'all. Okay. So one gallon, oh no, I was right the first time. Oh my goodness. Okay, quarter gallons, these are eighths, okay? Okay, so, all right. So for, you could do it this way. Make it one because the numerator is a one. If it's anything other than one, you cannot just do this multiplication, okay? Okay, we're gonna write a story problem that represents three divided by one half. So let's say Miss Leah made three sandwiches. I think I put an extra W or H in there. We'll see, whatever. And I'm going to cut them all in half. And how many halves do I have? I wrote a little bit bigger so y'all can see it, okay? So 
you guys write a story problem for a quarter being divided into two. Remember, there's a quarter. It's being divided into two. So just kind of come up with something close, okay? So you're going to do number six, okay? All right, we are going to go down and do number seven. And it says Spencer has a third pound of nuts. He divides the nuts equally into four bags. So we have, we have one third pound of nuts, and he's dividing that into four bags. Okay, now I'm going to put that four over a one, but we have a fraction that's being divided by a whole number. Okay, fraction divided by a whole number, we're going to get a fraction. Okay, so that means because the numerator is a one, I can put my numerator as a one, and then I can multiply and get 12. So, one twelfth pound. One twelfth of a pound. Okay. All right, y'all, I have this zoomed in so you guys can see a little bit better, but that means that I have to keep moving the paper, which is just as confusing. So, I'm going to move that a little bit. Okay. So, okay. Make sure you show your work. Okay. And we're going to do number next. Number eight. This number has three apples. She slices each apple into eight. How many one eight pieces does she have? So a whole number divided by a fraction. Well, a whole number divided by a fraction, we're gonna get a whole number. So that means that I can just multiply and three times eight is 24. 24 slices. Okay. Easy peasy y'all. Okay. We are going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check. Sorry, I'm fixing my scrap paper so I've got some to work with. Okay. So you guys are going to do the lesson check. Okay. And we're going to do this power review. This is Hannah buys two thirds of a pound of roast beef. She uses a quarter pound to make the sandwich for lunch. How much roast beef does she have left? Well, she started with two thirds of a pound. She used a quarter pound. So let's subtract it. Okay. So first we need a common denominator. Okay. Our common denominator is going to be 12. Okay, in order to get three to 12, we had to multiply it by four, which means we need to multiply the top by four and we get eight. Okay, in order to multiply four to get 12, we had to multiply it by three. So when I multiply the top by three, I get three. Now I just have to do eight minus three is five, five twelfths. Five twelfths and it's being measured in pounds. So five twelfths of a pound. Okay. All right. Alex buys two and a half pounds of grapes. He buys one and a quarter times as many pounds of apples as grapes. So how many pounds of apples does Alex buy? Well, he has two and a half. And it says fine. One and a quarter. Okay. So we're going to do dead man. So two times two is four, plus one more is five, and I'm going to keep my two as my denominator. And I'm going to do dead man again. Four times one is four, plus one is five, and my denominator is four. Now, I know that I always tell you all you can cross people, but remember, it has to be a top and a bottom, okay? Those are both on bottom, so I can't divide anything by two. And those are both fives, which is great, but I need a top and a bottom, and they're both on top. So I can't do anything. So I have five times five is 25, and two times four is eight. So notice that the top is bigger than the bottom, and we can't have that. So eight will go into 25 three times. Three times eight is 24, and 25 minus 24 is one. And then I keep my denominator. Okay, so three and one eighth pounds. Okay, now 
just in case y'all need a refresher on how I did this mentally, okay? All it is is putting 25 in that box and eight outside. It goes in three times, it's 24, subtract, get one. So, whew. so here's my whole number. Here is my numerator. And I keep my denominator, okay? Okay, all right. Marissa's car has 16 gallons of gas in the tank. She uses three quarters. How many gallons of gas does Marissa use? So let's do let's make up 16. And 16 is divisible by four. Okay. So Okay, so I have one, I have two, I have three, and I have four, okay? So there's four in each one of these, okay? There's four gallons in each one of these. Okay, all right, because four plus four is eight, plus four is 12, plus four is 16, okay? So I'm cutting it up into fourths, because my denominator is four. Y'all can't really see that, which is why I zoomed it in. Let's do it again. Okay, so my denominator was four, so I had used, I broke it up into fourths, okay? So there's four gallons in each of those four. All right, so now she used three of those. How many gallons of gas did Maritza use? Well, four plus four is eight plus four is 12. 12 gallons, okay? All right, let's zoom it back out some. Okay, Jamie has a board that is eight feet long. She cuts the board into three equal pieces. How long is each piece? So eight divided by three, okay? or eight over three, okay? Which is the same thing, okay? So that means that if we did eight inside the box and three outside the box, which is just another way to write this, so these are three ways to write division, guys. Same thing, okay? So if I do it this way, three goes into eight, two times, two times three is six, subtract and get two. So I have two and two, and my denominator stays the same. And it's being measured in feet. Now, when I'm doing this, like I was doing on this one mentally, I'm just gonna go three goes into eight two times. Two times three is six, so eight minus six is two, and my denominator stays the same, okay? So you don't have to show every single one of these. You can absolutely just do that last one. Totally fine. You do you. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for chapter eight. Come on back for chapter nine. See you soon.